dear students welcome to my another class of bangladesh and global studies today i'm going to discuss a new chapter the financial and banking systems of the government of bangladesh this chapter has been divided into two parts the financial system and the banking system in the first part that is in financial system i'm going to discuss the sources of income of the government of bangladesh and the heads of expenditure of the government of bangladesh let's start the class in chapter 13 the topic of discussion is the financial and banking systems of the government of bangladesh after the discussion, you will be able to know the concept of public finance, the sources of income of the government of Bangladesh, the sources of tax revenue, and the sources of extra tax revenue. What is public finance management? Generally, the public finance means the policies and methods regarding the income and expenditure of the state. Professor Delton says public finance is concerned with the income and expenditure of the government and with the adjustment of the one to other. The meaning of this is in this branch of economy all types of income and expenditure of the state loan and investment related problems and the issues of their solutions are included the sources of income of the government of Bangladesh is divided into two parts that is the government of Bangladesh spends a huge amount of money to accomplish public welfare in running the administration and for socio-economic development. The government has to earn a lot of money to meet these expenses. The sources of income of Bangladesh government can be divided into two parts tax revenue extra tax revenue what is tax revenue tax revenue is the income which is received from the taxes imposed on the people and on various business firms and industries by the government Let's discuss some types of tax revenue. First one is the customs. The customs is the main source of income of the government of Bangladesh. What is customs? The tax which is imposed on the exported and imported goods of the country is called customs. That is, while the country is conducting the international trade, then they have to pay the customs. Next one is the excise duty. The tax which is imposed on the goods produced and used inside the country is called excise duty. That is locally produced goods are has to pay excise duty. Excise duty is also imposed on the purpose of reducing the consumption of various harmful goods. In our country, excise duty is usually imposed on some harmful commodities like tea, sugar, sugar tobacco, kerosene, medicine, spirit, match, wine and different kinds of drugs etc. Next one is income tax. Income tax is considered as an important source of income of the government of Bangladesh. What is income tax? 
the tax which is imposed on the personal income of the people of a country is called income tax in our country income tax is realized at a progressive rate from those whose income is over a ceiling that is the person whose income is more he will pay more income tax next one is value added tax in short which is called vat vat is usually a tax system of bangladesh at present in our country vat has been imposed on the imported and locally produced goods and on some fixed service sectors such as restaurant beauty parlor etc next source of tax revenue of the government of bangladesh is supplementary duty supplementary duty is imposed on some goods in addition to the customs or excise duty or vat is called supplementary duty it is one of the main sources of income of the government of bangladesh land revenue land revenue is imposed on the use of the land the taxes paid to the government for the possession and use of land is called land revenue non judicial stamp the government earns a huge amount of money from the stamps used for various documents or and applications regarding judiciary passport and exchange bills etc registration or registration fee the registration fee is paid for deed registration and the court fee is paid for lawsuit the government earns a huge amount of money from this source so it is also one of the important source of income of the government vehicle tax vehicle tax is imposed on the vehicles for the registration of the vehicles wine duty the government earns some money by imposing duty on different kinds of wine and for many other drugs next one is electricity duty the government has income from the electricity duty too besides the above mentioned taxes and duties the government earns more taxes and duties mainly from the recreation tax property tax duty on petrol and gas duty on foreign tour tax on irrigation and its machinery etc the government of bangladesh can collect more revenue from many other sources beside tax and duties the revenue earned from these sources are known as extra tax revenue some sources are discussed here first one is dividend and profit dividend and profit can be earned from bank insurance company various non banking financial organizations like park zoo etc at the end of the year interest the government give loans to various financial and autonomous organization all the year round some income comes from the duties received in this regard so interest is also another source of extra tax revenue for our government economic service economic service means tourism banking travel and service etc they are registration scheme received under export or import act the earning received under insurance act audit scheme for cooperative societies registration of cooperative society and renewal scheme etc so economic service is the another source of income of our government general administration the government of bangladesh earns 
various types of fees for providing administrative services to the people all over the country. The railway. The railway is another source of the income of our government. The postal department. Since the postal department of our country is run by the government, it is also one of the sources of income of the government of our country. Next point is telegraph and telephone. Since the telegraph and telephone system is run by the government, it is also one of the source of the income of our government. Next one is forestry. The government of our country earns a lot of money from the forest areas of Bangladesh through selling forest-born assets or resources like wood, bamboo, fuel, honey, wax, etc. Toll and levy. Let's see what is toll. Toll is a kind of revenue which is unlike the taxes imposed on income. Government earns this revenue in exchange of providing various services to the people like collecting money at bridges, culverts, ports, huts and buzzers. Levy is the tax imposed on the collection from the people at a particular time on a particular purpose such as the tax levied on the purpose of Padda Bridge. Rent and lease. Our government also earns through renting and leasing government land property. Fine, penalty and forfeiture. The government of Bangladesh earns an amount every year through fine, penalty and forfeiture by giving punishment to the people. My dear students, from today's topic, we have got these questions to solve. Explain the concept of public finance management. Discuss about the sources of tax revenue income of the government of Bangladesh. Discuss about the sources of extra tax revenue income of the government of Bangladesh. What is VAT? You can you'll be able to complete the homework taking help from today's lecture and your textbook. Please solve them and submit them in your homework groups. Thank you for watching the video class. See you soon in our next class.